What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tone, man, with Inspire to Thrive LLC. Thank you for following me on my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for also following me on Instagram. Uh, appreciate the support and the uh, just the organic growth um, with the channel and you know all the support that you guys have shown up to this point. Um, <clears throat> it's been a minute since I posted a video, y'all, and I uh, have good reason for it. Um, you know, as much as I, you know, love to be transparent, open and honest with people um, about my journey in life and, you know, navigating, um, you know, different career paths and entrepreneurial endeavors and whatnot. Uh, these last couple of months have been um, challenging, to say the least, but you know, since I've had time to kind of just reflect on everything that's transpired up to this point, um, I'm starting to really see that God is orchestrating everything that's happening. Um, now, on the surface and, you know, in my reality, there are some things that um, I wish could be better, you know, in the moment. But again, I know that ultimately all things work together for the good, uh, for those that are called in accordance to his purpose. And I believe that I have a purpose. We all have a purpose, right? Um, so anyway, I, I thought that now would be a good time to give you guys, um, give you guys some uh, insight into what's going on and what's happening. So here it goes. Um, USPS. I'm about a month and a half removed. Uh, actually two months. We're now in December. Um, my last day was the end of September. So I've had all of October and November to kind of build in my new career. Um, for those of you that don't know, and a lot of you probably don't, um, I am a marketer, community marketing agent for Wyndham Destinations, AKA Travel and Leisure. Uh, just so happens to be the largest uh, hotel and resort chain in the world, almost bigger than Marriott and Hilton combined. Uh, so just to give you an idea, um, it's been, it's been, uh, a little bit of a challenge, you know what I'm saying? Getting back into uh, being a marketing agent. I used to do this job or I did this role for the Hilton um, almost 20 years ago, which I don't think was any coincidence either. Obviously that was a, a different season of my life and I was a lot younger, but um, I will say that um, I'm glad to be back in this role. I. Um, I know that God orchestrated this because I wasn't looking for anything necessarily. I had my, you know, I had my resume on Indeed. And so uh, from time to time, I would go on there and like apply for different jobs, but nothing ever transpired from that. So I just decided to keep my head down and stay plugged in at the post office um, for the time being. You know, I knew that I wasn't going to quit the post office until I had something else. And it just so happened, <laughs> coincidentally, right? Uh, just so happened that when I came up on my one year break in service at the post office, I was uh, recruited by someone um, from Wyndham on Indeed. And they asked me to come in and interview. I interviewed during my break in service from the post office. And then um, I was offered a job the next day. So then I had a decision to make. I was, uh, you know, I could have either went back to the post office to continue that grind, which you all know I didn't want to do. So obviously I didn't do it. I chose to, uh, you know, make that transition into Wyndham. But the thing about it is that I didn't necessarily feel like Wyndham was going to be a long-term career. I was looking at it initially as a stepping stone to whatever the next thing was. And don't even ask me what I was looking for because I don't even know. I really, I, I think in the back of my mind, I just had my my thoughts set on, 
you know, coming into a position or a role that was going to pay me substantially, um, just based on my experience and my resume and my education and all these things, right? Um, but God had other plans for me, you know, he, he opened his door. Um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed because obviously it's not, you know, a physically demanding job, although I'm on my feet all day, that's not a problem. I'm not lifting anything heavy. I'm not, um, you know, driving around in these trucks that break down every couple of days. Um, you know, so I'm out of the elements per se, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. That's just one beautiful thing about it. The other thing about it is that, you know, I get to have fun, you know, I interact with people. Um, you know, I get to send people on vacation. Literally, I'm, I'm able to give promotional gifts away to people that, um, see the value in what we're giving and it's fun. I mean, you know what I mean? I, I get to, I get to interact with my colleagues and, um, share, you know, my knowledge and, you know, just joke around, have a good time, man. It's like, it's no high pressure. Of course there's pressure low key, uh, in any sales role, you're going to have some type of pressure, but honestly, I, I don't look at it that way. Um, I know that, you know, as long as I'm doing my job to the best of my ability and I'm making an honest effort to impact people's lives in a positive way, then ultimately, you know, the, the, the sales will come, the tours will come and the money will follow, uh, shortly thereafter. So it's exciting, man. Um, it's exciting, you know, um, <clears throat> The other thing about what's happening to me in my life right now, um, or what has happened up to this point, um, I had to give up my, um, apartment. My lease was up and, you know, it was because I was in transition and because I was already, already struggling, you know, to maintain my livelihood. Once my lease expired, my brother and his uh, wife, my sister-in-law were kind enough to open their home to me. Um, so I have a place to live, you know, obviously that's a blessing. There's people that are less fortunate. Um, I'm with family, you know, my brother loves me to death and vice versa. Um, so it's, it's cool to be able to, um, spend his time with him and his wife, um, you know, grow our relationship, um, uh, stronger than, you know, than it was. And, um, so that's cool. Um, that's great. Actually, I should say. Um, my daughter, you know, she's in, in good hands and good health and, and doing well in school. Um, that's beautiful. Her mom is taking amazing care of her and, and holding it down, um, on her end, uh, which I'm grateful for. I don't want to skip over that, you know, um, just want to make that clear that, that I appreciate everything that she's doing for our daughter. Um, but selfishly, of course, I miss my time with my daughter. I miss, I miss being able to be there for her, picking her up and, you know, attending her games and whatever activity she has. But unfortunately, my car broke down the day after I got hired at Wyndham. And you guys know I had already had some issues with my car in the past. Um, so it's, a, it's just, a, you know, it's challenging. But at the end of the day, you know, I know that these material things that we possess in life um, can be replaced, you know, and this is only a temporary situation. You know, I'm working towards getting myself out of this situation and into a better situation. Um, and I trust God that, you know, again, that I'm in the right spot to be able to do that. Um, also, uh, you guys know I'm an entrepreneur. I have a, a personal chef business that I've been just kind of sitting on and haven't really done anything with um in quite a while but it's still there it's still uh you know um uh, it's still an opportunity for me to um add value to people's lives in that way you know providing that in-home private chef service and that's gonna happen uh, again at some point um you know based on all the knowledge that i've gained over the last few years and having you know dibbled and dabbled in in the business and understanding what I need and, and where I can improve as far as the service goes. So I'm excited about that in the near future um, or in the upcoming months to be able to do that again. And also 
Inspire to Thrive LLC. So Inspire to Thrive LLC is meant to use my voice, you know, share my experiences in life. Um, you know, I've been inspired by others. I, I continue to be inspired by others. You know, the people that are in my life, uh, people that I may not know, you know, that I, that I follow on social media um, and things like that. And so for me, because I've been inspired to thrive, I want to turn around and do the same thing for others. You know, so I hope that my content um, is resonating with some of you and, you know, um, and that I can inspire you to keep going, man, because the reality is everybody deals with life. I've said it before. Nobody is immune to um, the pitfalls and the trials and the tribulations of life. Um, you know, it, it may not be in the same way as, as I'm dealing with. Maybe there are people dealing with some of the same challenges, but the point is, I think, I think it's important for us, especially as men, you know, uh, a lot of times men are more prideful and, and don't want to be vulnerable and share their truths because, you know, they want to keep this bravado and, and keep uh, this image that, you know, everything's good, um, life is good, relationships are good, you know, finances are good. Um, but that's not the case for me. You know, I, I, um, I'm okay with being vulnerable. You know, I think there's power in, in vulnerability and, uh, and I believe that it'll help a lot of people because then when people see, you know what, there's someone on the other side of the screen who is dealing with some of the same things I'm dealing with and they're pushing through, you know, and they're, they're being honest about the situation, taking ownership and accountability for where they're at. And, uh, I look forward to getting on the other side of this thing, the financial piece, um, because then I'll be able to do much more. Um, but I'm also grateful because it's helping me to thrive in my character, in my integrity, you know, in my spirituality, because I'm leaning uh, much more on God than I ever have in the past. Um, and um, I just know that it, things are gonna continue to elevate, you know, so I will go from you know, survival mode to thriving mode um, very soon in every area of my life. I know that to be true and I can't wait for you guys to witness that. And um, yeah, I just encourage anybody out there dealing with anything, you know, whatever it may be. Um, number one, take ownership. Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming your circumstances and work towards whatever it is that you want in your life you know improve the areas of your life that you need to improve but it starts with you right it starts with us first right now i'm putting a mask on myself you know it's like the plane's going down you're losing oxygen they tell you to put the mask on yourself well that's what i'm doing literally in my life right now i'm putting a mask on myself as i continue to build up my situation so that i can in turn help others and um yeah, let's get it, man. Hopefully that makes sense. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, thanks for rocking with me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone you think it'll add value to. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.